found you Girl, I like being around you Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to Shawty, if you down, I'm and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel please find that cute little button wherever it is on your screen join the shy team today because we are working on not being shy for the summer now we are working on summer 2020 i was not there i disappeared from the scene while i was pregnant i had to prioritize a lot of stuff youtube was literally the last thing on my list and um i was just not feeling up to filming at all um, I wasn't happy with you know the weight that I gained during my pregnancy and how my body looked and how my face looked and yada 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 blah 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 but it is what it is your goals back I am now here to show you what my body looks like what are my goals okay because your girl needs to be snatched okay I need to fit into my clothes because I'm not I am not gonna go out there and buy a whole new wardrobe when I have a whole closet full of clothes I'm not doing it just not so let's talk about what is different after my body four months after having my son <laughs> let's so talk right about right here you guys can definitely see the difference of my hair I am losing my hair I mean like I don't want to deal with it I leave my hair in a protective style right now it's in twist and I kind of put the scarf on top because you know every time I wash it detangle it I'm like losing like chunk filled of hair like my hair was bomb.com while i was pregnant after pregnancy my son came out with a full head of hair he took all of the hair and now i'm losing all my hair okay <laughs> losing every single one of it so i'm getting the ball spots right here and then my hairline is kind of receding back what i am doing to combat that i am using jamaican black castor oil right now to kind of help stimulate it with peppermint oil to kind of keep the follicles going and to sprout out some new new follicles like come on i need hair i need my hair to come back next are my boobs my boobs are a lot bigger and i definitely noticed a difference um when i tried to like go back into some of my clothes that i can feel like i like to wear oversized stuff like a, most of my shirt t-shirts are oversized and i kind of like you know do a cute style with it and it's falling way different so it's not like oversized at all with these these knockers right now i am currently breastfeeding so after i'm done i hopefully i can go back to being a b cup or maybe hopefully a small c so i can still rock my style that's all i care about now the bigger thing that we're going to talk about is my stomach my stomach is still um have a dark pigmentation um praise god i do not have a mommy tummy i just look like i ate a lot and i did not care what i was eating my abs are nice and strong i have a slight ab separation which i will talk about in another video on how i am going to repair that or how i've been repairing my ab separation um also my incision is very very low so even if i want to put on a bikini or some shorts and a crop top once i'm snatched um you won't even know that i had a c-section at all yes your girl had a c-section but anyhow with my arms got a little bit bigger um you don't really see you see like a little bit of jiggle but you know nothing but a lot of weights will will change that also my hips don't got any hips but you can tell there's a lot of fat that is stored on the side of my hips um, and that the bottom of my butt at the top of my thighs I have a little bit of cellulite so nothing but a lot of cardio um, weight training will definitely help me kind of tone up my um, legs and lose my cellulite hopefully praise lord your girl does not have any stretch marks if you guys want to know what I did to combat stretch marks, you guys can let me know. I can definitely do that video for you below. Um, but I don't have any stretch marks at all, not even on the top of my legs. Um, and if I did, it was always already there on my legs anyway. So, yeah, pretty easy, pretty simple. So what are my goals? Before I tell you my goals, let me tell you where I'm at right now. Had to write everything down so june 26 my waist was a 32 
my butt measured at a 42 42 40 inches um, below my belly button was 35 my legs are 22 and my arms are 12 if you guys want to know my measurements pre-pregnancy I'll put it right here for you guys um, and I am weighing at a hundred and fifty two pounds in June okay that's where I am I was in July I know we're in August but in July when I get, went back into slowly walking slowly fast walking and then jogging um, I was able to get my waist down to 31 my butt down to 39 my below my belly button went down to 33.5 my legs went down to 21 and my arms went down to 11 inches and at that time I was weighing 146 pounds so today I'm still at that same place um, I had to have another surgery so that kind of you know put me back um, a lot I can talk about that in poor family if you guys want to know about my crazy IUD story yes crazy um, I had to have another surgery so that kind of stopped me from continuing on from jogging able to jog a mile in 10 minutes to now I'm literally back to square one where I'm starting off walking um, then from walking I'm gonna go back into a fast walk back into a jog hopefully back into being able to get down to a 10 mile a 10 mile a 10 minute mile hopefully I can get back to my goal of an eight minute mile uh, that is what I'm shooting for I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys are also pregnant or you know post pregnancy you guys can definitely get back down to a lot of work we can definitely talk about it if you want to reach out to me please follow me on my Instagram um, I answer a lot of people there I answer everybody I think there's one person that I kind of deleted her comment by accident and it was by accident and I could not even achieve it back to even answer her um, but other than that if you guys want to you know talk to somebody about how you feel with your body what are your goals you know you guys can always talk to me um, I'm here we can always work together this is why we are here we are working on not being shy for the summer to put on that bikini to put on that crop top to put on something that makes you feel good that's it whether it is a crop top or not I want you guys to all feel comfortable in your body and happy in your body all right so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Find that red button, join the shy team, and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.